In the next four minutes, I'm going to show you how I created this character and the geometry node setup that I used to make the army. And I'm sure there's a better way to create armies in Blender, but this is just a specific node setup I used to create this specific army for this video. It worked well for the video, but the geometry nodes is not the only thing that's selling this effect. I believe the camera angles, the camera movement, the motion blur, the lighting, it all ties everything together and it sells this effect. But anyway, let's move on to creating this character and uh, geometry nodes setup. I took this guy inside Human Anatomy Pack inside Character Creator 4, threw some skin effects on him, drag and drop running animations, yes you can drag and drop animations inside Character Creator and iClone, vary up his looks, bring them into Blender. In Blender I used two separate techniques, one using geometry nodes which I'll show you step by step how and the second one is using procedural crowds add-on. With this add-on I can draw a curve and this becomes a path for the zombies to run on. My geometry nodes technique is this, get a plane, open up a new tab, geometry node. Click new. In here we need a few nodes. Distribute points on faces. We will turn this into the second option. Instance on points. Click pick instance. Collection info. Check these options on. Transform geometry. Object info. Click relative. Raycast. And set position. Geometry goes into mesh. Points to points. From the collection info node, instances goes into geometry to the transform geometry node and this geometry goes into instance. These instances goes into geometry, raycast is hit goes into selection, hit position goes into position. This geometry goes into target geometry. This final geometry node is connected outside. If you want to see your original geometry, we need a join geometry node and then join this geometry right at the end. And I also use this switch node. This switch node should be connected like this. This geometry goes into join geometry. The original geometry goes into join geometry. This goes into the one option. And then the set position geometries goes into the second option. And by turning on or off this switch, we can enable or disable the original geometry. And this switch can be connected outside to the group input. So you can control it from the modifiers tab. Now bring in your zombies. If their animations are only partial like this, go into pose mode, select all the bones, select all the keyframes, shift E, make cyclic. Now take the mesh, only the mesh, M, and put them in a new collection. Back in our geometry nodes, choose that collection. It's a bit too dense, bring it down here. And if you have a landscape, and you want your army to run on this landscape. Now we can go into this object info that is connected to the raycast, choose that plane, and then as long as this plane is above the landscape, they run on the landscape. How do we make them move forward though? That's where the transform geometry node comes in. We put a keyframe, go a bit further in the timeline, and put another keyframe to the correct axis and direction. To see these keyframes, the original geometry and the node needs to be selected. Once selected, go into the timeline, select all the keyframes, shift E, and linear extrapolation. This will make the army move forward. Now they're too fast. If I pull these keyframes apart, they're gonna go slower. If you want a free zombie army alternative, you can use the zombies from Mixamo. Download them with the animations, completely free. A couple of notes on models from Mixamo. Disable autosmooth or your viewport display performance will suffer. And fix up their materials. They always come with metallic, which I suggest turning off, and too specular. Now we can put this into another collection called Slow Zombie. Go back into our geometry nodes. And here if we just copy this bit, this geometry goes into mesh and then choose slow zombie here. Right before our set position node, add another join geometry. And we can connect this right there. We may need to change the seed here. We can copy the keyframes from here. Just have to put a keyframe there and then paste. And then if we pull these apart even further, and now we have two types of zombies running at different speeds. And more variations you have, the better they might look. We can also use a random value node, plug this into the instance on points scale, type 0.8 to 1, and the same thing to this one, to get a bit more variation on how they look. Now I'm sure there is a better way to vary up the speed of the zombies right inside geometry nodes. 
but I couldn't find it yet. I tried plugging things into the transform geometry node, that didn't work, and I couldn't find any tutorials about it. Uh, if you know any tutorials about it, please leave them down in the comments so we can learn from each other. Let's let's grow together, and uh, that's what the community is all about. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something from it, and I hope you show up for the next one too.